This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. He said, uh, let's get this over with. No. I've got plans. That's Stephen right. Curl. Yeah, yeah. Things, things to do. I got to hit the town, baby. The big town. Yes. Yeah, town, my town, our town, a hell of a town. I have no, a coat with two. Uh, that's not good. That's not any good. Let me turn on my lights here. Okay. What is wrong? This is all screwed up here. There we go. That's screwed up. Oh, well. Anyway, I got another interview that I wanted to do here, and I, I've, I've just been screwing up so much lately, folks. Please excuse me. Uh, uh, Pearl, you'll have to still wait for one more night, okay? Because tonight we're going to do uh, Steve Kravitz, okay? All right? Okay? All right. Let's give it a try. What is wrong with my background? <laughs> I really like talking to this guy, you know? This is uh, Stephen Kravitz, as you can see by the thing on the bottom of the screen that says his fine name. He uh -huh. is a, a comedian, actor. What if, if I said to you, what would you want on your biography first, actor or comedian? Ah. Actor. Actor. Actor? Yeah. I think a more lofty profession, don't you? Yeah. And more respected. Definitely much more respected. Yeah. Although, I'll tell you, I've, you know, I've known comics in my time that deserve all the respect in the world. Oh, know. absolutely. So right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, uh, it, but nevertheless, when you say, I'm an actor, <laughs> you know, and, uh -huh. and now we got to go to the levels of actor, okay? Right. What's the highest form of acting? I mean, outside of telling your wife you didn't cheat on her. <laughs> what's, the high, what's the highest form of acting? I've always wanted to play King Lear. Really? Yes. And have you, you've read King Lear. I, yes. And, and you understand King Lear. Yes. How do you memorize that stuff? I wrote. <laughs> I wrote, you just, you just, you know, go over it and over it and over it. Because when you're doing Shakespeare, okay, right. you can't change a single word. No. Otherwise, no. otherwise you're going to be given a lot of crap for that. Yes. Whereas if you're just doing a regular play and you go up on your line slightly, you can like make up your own until you get back on, on track. On track. Yeah. That happened to me when I was doing Godspell. Oh, okay. That the guy playing Jesus kind of lost his place, and I was playing John the Baptist Judas. Yeah. So I had to like redirect everybody to follow me, and I'd get us back on page. You want to hear the best story I ever heard uh, about going up on your lines? Uh, and I think it was. Um, from Jada, what was her name? She was on one of these soap operas. And she said that they were doing this soap opera. And the guy is on the plane, on a plane with his wife. Right. Okay. And uh, she went up on her lines. Right. Or, uh, excuse me, he went up on his lines. He went up on his lines. By that we mean, folks, he didn't remember he lines. didn't remember what the next line was okay so anyway uh, he, he 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 went up on his lines and the first thing what does a stage actor do if he goes up on his lines I mean really bad echo usually somehow walks off stage ask somebody for the next line and then walks back on stage it's the easiest way to handle it 
You know? Right. You can just say, excuse me for a moment, and then you leave the set, and then you go, what's my next line? You know? Right, 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 right. Well, I've never seen that. I've never seen that happen. As with most of these soap operas, uh, all the actors were from the theater. So he right. logically did what he needed to do. He said, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Right. And he gets, gets up and he walks out a door of the airplane, but it's the main door of the airplane. Ah. Ah. And they cut to commercial. And the director says over the intercom, okay, so-and-so, when we come back, you're going to cry like you've never cried before. And he wrote himself out of the show. Oh, really? Just by walking out the, the door of the plane. Well, I could see that. That, <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. fireable. Yeah, so that, that's, the, that's the greatest going up on your line story I ever heard. Yeah. What, what did you do if you went up on your lines? I mean, you just couldn't remember that next line. To be honest, it never happened. Uh, I was doing a play. I was doing uh, Arsenic and Old Lace. Okay. That's what you do when you're a youngster for the Ross Valley Players, which was a very lauded group of actors in Marin County. They did their uh, they did their shows at the Marin County uh, Art and Garden Center in a barn. Right. And and it was made into a theater. And it was stage right. Of so. course. And I was with their young group. The, the teen group who did plays, and we did were doing Arsenic and Old Lace. Right. And I was playing the Boris Karloff character. What was the name of the character? Jonathan. Okay. And uh, I'm doing my best Boris Karloff impression I can possibly do. And I'm and I and I. It's not that I went up on my lines. It's just that I said the wrong line, and the wrong line took us back to the beginning of the play. <laughs> Oh, really? And everybody started doing the beginning of the play all over again. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, the first act in that show lasted about 45, 50 minutes. It was very long. I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Uh, but, I've never heard of that. Yeah, but you can see why I didn't do that very much theater after that. You know, right, because, right. You know. What is in your thing? Well... You know, I, I, here's what I got to ask you. Memorization. Right. Now, I am very, I think, bad at memorization. If I'm, if I'm given a play and I've given, given the script, I mean, if we do it enough times, I suppose, rehearse it enough times, it's going to seep into you. Right. But you right. still have to study it and have somebody sit there with you while you do the lines and tell right. you when you're right, tell you when you're wrong. And I could never quite get that process down. I never got the process to the point where I was so confident that I knew the script that I could just play the part. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you have to, as an actor, you have to be that comfortable with having memorized right. the script. Right, right, so right. So I, I never was that comfortable and uh, always had a problem. And then I went and I did television in San Francisco many, many years later. And I was doing stand-up pieces that I had written. Right. That I had to memorize. Right. Nice part about it is if you want to change a line while you're doing it, you wrote it. Okay. Right, so, right, 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 yeah, right, yeah. right. And I taught myself how to memorize. And what you have to do is, and I don't know if you know this, because you're probably pretty good at it, right? You're pretty good at memorization. I was. I don't know about now. Yeah, but you were pretty good at it. Very good at it. I mean, you could see a script, absorb it, and then go out and do it, right? Right, right, now, exactly. Uh, I um, learned that if I took the pressure off myself to memorize it and just got the idea of what I was supposed to be saying, that I would be pretty accurate. Right. You know what okay. I'm saying? In other words, you got to take the pressure off yourself. Right. So I finally learned how to do it. You know, I was I was pretty much known as one take Bennett. You know, we got it one take most of the time. Well, that's uh, great. You know, I mean, I was doing things like you know tech stuff, and right. so and we were doing them in pieces. So right. I could I could look at the script, see what it was, and most of the time I had written the script anyway. Right. And and see it, 
and then just perform it, you know. But man, memorization was a really bugged me for years, you know. So. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. It, I just emerged myself into the script. I would learn everybody's lines. Oh re really? Yeah. So, uh, uh, and and were you pretty accurate? I mean, in other words, when you went on stage, did you pretty much word for word say yes? This? Boy, I I admire you. I bow down to you. <laughs> See here, folks. We're talking about theater stuff, which is something we never usually talk about. When I started out, I wanted to be an actor. I didn't right. want to be in radio. But okay. I finally went into radio because I could get into it. And I figured if I did enough radio, somebody would ask me to act. Right. Nobody ever asked me to act. One person asked me to act, and then he couldn't afford to fly me out for the shoot. And that was Robert Downey Sr. Oh, he really? did a picture called Greaser's Palace, and he was going to fly me and my friend Paul Krasner out to be in the film. And then really? he said, we've just kind of run out of money, and we can't afford to fly you out, so we're not going to use you. So that was my, my my one great chance to be in the movies. Right. My other chance, I am in the movies, however, in a sh picture called One Fine Day. Okay. I, I think that was George Clooney's first movie. Right. Uh, with uh, what's her name? Yeah. And we're gonna say what's her name? The actress. Yeah. Right. You I did a TV it. show with Clooney. Did you really? Yeah. What was it? I was the bad guy, and they were with him, and three other guys were like hip cops on motorcycles. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was before he was big, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way before. In other words, if you called him right now, he wouldn't remember you. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Because if he would remember you, I'd say call him. Right. Uh, you oh, know. shit, right? But anyway... Um, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. So he, in one fine day, they call me up and they say, Alex, do you mind if we, uh, this is from Lucas Valley, where they're do, doing the audio on this movie. Do you mind if we use a piece of your program uh, in a movie that we're doing? And I said, sure. How much does it pay? They said, nothing. I said, oh, do, you really? want me, do you want me to send you a clip? They said, no, we've already recorded a clip. They, they already had one, right? Right. So they used it. And if you watch that picture, she gets up in the morning and she gets the kids out of bed. And then we cut to his bedroom. Right. And his clock radio goes off. And guess who's and there? It's you. It's me. Yeah. That's the only movie I've ever been in. I mean, that I can take credit for. You know, that's very similar to uh, Mr. Saturday Night with uh, Billy Crystal. Yeah. They just took my MTV set and put it on yes. the TV. And then they put then they were commenting on how bad a comedian you were. No, they said I was dressed for a felony. You were dressed for a felony. <laughs> right. And did they pay you for that? Yes. Okay, see I didn't get paid for the audio. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh uh so if we would go look at Mr. Saturday Night, there you are doing your act and him saying. I'm on, actually, he's he's in his living room and I'm on the TV, much like you were on the radio. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the television that he's watching, and he says, yeah. "This guy's not dressed for comedy; he's dressed for a felony." And I'm doing something about drugs. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, you know, and I had the long, long hair, uh, tattoos. Um, but they didn't sh they didn't shoot that, did they? They got it from somewhere. They got it from MTV. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you, in those days, I have video Turn of candles, you, which I probably should show on my program sometime, at our recession special. And you do look like you're dressing for a felony. I mean. Well, thanks. Well, I mean, you know. I had an image. So anyway, you signed a release to be insulted, essentially. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Do you still get money for that, or do those checks stop coming? Because that wasn't a very popular movie. Nah. I get checks now for like $2. Yeah, I get checks from uh, from HBO. For what? Remember the show One Night Stand? Sure. 
Uh, the first year, I was the announcer on all the episodes. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, they don't show many of those episodes now, but the one they do show all the time is Bill Mars. And I, what every channel? year, channel? Every, at, 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 at HBO. Oh. This was a one-night stand. Right. Well, they show that because doesn't he have a program on, on uh, yeah. HBO? Yeah. yeah. So they've kept his running. If I go in there, if you go into HBO Max and you go into comedy, I don't think there are many of the first years uh, right. uh, one night stands, but you will find that one. And over the years, Bill Maher, you know, I get $71 a year or something like that, you know. Really? But after many years, and then all the other ones also were there, I wound up making a good bit of change just from the residuals on that. You really? Know, there wasn't a lot every time, but you added up over the last 20 years since we right, did them. Right, right, or Maybe right. even 25 years since we did them. And it's, it's, it's a good piece of change. Another good piece of change for me that was really strange was, remember I used to host a show called uh, Comedy Tonight? Okay. On PBS? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hosted it for five years when I was replaced by Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know how they went from me to Whoopi Goldberg, but they no, did. I don't get that either. Well, um, anyway, I did it for about five years, and for a year, and I got paid, I think, $150 an episode. Right. You know, it was bare minimum, because it was PBS. Well, every year I get re got residuals. And every year really? I got more residuals. And after it was all over, I said, you know, I made about 15 grand out of that show. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, the, the residuals do add up, you know. It's like when I shot the milk commercial. They shot it locally and then rolled it out nationally. And my job for a while was just going to the mailbox to get another check. Wouldn't it be nice to be one of those actors? Uh, oh, okay, let's take... Uh, uh, who who's the guy that was uh, Darth Vader? Uh, oh, Edward, uh, 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 no, J Jones. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah, Jones. <laughs> What's uh, the rest of his name? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, he must go to his mailbox every day. Right. And pull out check after check after check after check. Oh, no kidding. You know, I mean, he doesn't have to work another day in his life. The residuals check after check after check after check. Right. Um, there were, uh, you know, the big thing it used to be in the business is if you could get a national spot. Right. Because they really paid good money. Right. You right. got paid, right. Right. you got paid like, I don't know, 300 bucks to do it the first time. Right. But then there was a thing that every time it played, you got the same money over again. I mean, nationally. Right. Right. For right. Like and every time, every time it went to a different market, you got paid again. Yeah. Yeah, so you, I know I know guys who who used to bring in on one commercial, thirty, forty thousand dollars. Right, right. Because you know, it's a lot of money. Right. People don't oh, realize yeah. that that's really where the money is. Right. Uh, the guy who's doing Allstate now, uh, he's got he, he's the new voice of God. You know, the voice of God was uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, got my mind. So the black James Earl Jones. James James Earl Jones. Yeah, but who's the other one? You know who I'm talking about? No. Uh, you know, I mean, he's he, he. But they use his voice more than just about any other on television. But really? He, yeah. I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, what what is with me today? Don't even ask me to remember anything today. Right. I'm having trouble. I had trouble today with Bank of America. Well, because really? I just tried to change my password. Really? And I change it and it doesn't work. So now I have to go online to them and uh, ask them to help me. And you get this kind of thing. Welcome to Bank of America. Your call is important to us. Okay, if it's important to you, let me talk to a human being. Okay? Right. Don't, right. don't give me a recording. Then it goes... If you would like, blah, 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 press one. So I don't press any of those. I just go, uh, let me talk to a representative. And they say, right. okay, you'll talk to a representative. And then, before I can talk to the representative, 
have you tried our new Bank of America, blah, 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 and uh, by the way, do you think you, do you need to change your password? I want to talk to a representative. Yes, we're going right. to need a representative, but, but, and then they give you all this stuff they, they're telling you. Don't tell me that crap. Just say, okay, we're getting you to a representative. Right, 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 and right, right. And, and I like it. They said they were busy, and would they like me to have them call back? I said, yes. Within five minutes, I got a call back. I got a woman. This, uh, this endeared me to Bank of America, who answered the phone thusly. Hello, this is Annette. I'm in Albuquerque. Oh, really? Yeah. And I think a lot of companies are starting to do that when their support is right. in the United right States. The because I'm so tired of every time I call someplace, get, I mean, and this has, this is not, no, um, uh, Disrespect. Disrespect to foreign people, but right. I don't want to talk to some guy in India I can barely understand. Right. Okay. Who tells me his name is Alan? Y yes. Yes. My name is Alan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I but I, uh, I so I went through that today, and it was it was it was a pain in the ass. You know. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. So um, uh, oh, by the way, what's happening with the tooth? Anything? Any new? Dentist appointment on Monday. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. How was your fourth? How's my what? How was your fourth of July? Oh, I. Uh, how was my fourth? I thought you wanted to know what part of my body. Uh, how was my fourth? Oh. Uh, it sounded like you said, "How was your fork?" Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, the fourth. Uh, we didn't do anything. Just sat here and listened to the goddamn fireworks from the neighborhood kids. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. They were blowing them big time. Until, See, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything here. Well, well, what happened was we get very noisy, right? Big explosions, big, big fireworks displays. Meanwhile, Macy's is doing one in the East River, and I was about ready to yell out my window, "Hey, you guys got nothing on Macy's," you know? Right. Uh, but uh, they keep the Macy's one. The Macy's one went on for like ninety minutes. They, no, the show lasted 90 minutes because you had all these people singing and dancing, the Jonas Brothers and whatever. Oh, God. And then they did the fireworks, but they lasted about 25 minutes, I think, something like right. that. Right, they lasted a long time, longer yeah. than I've ever seen. And then they had them going off the, uh, the uh, Empire State Building. Right, right, as well as the barges. Yeah, but the, and they had them in sync with each other. Right. You know? Right, it was amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, I can I can usually on a clear day I can see the, you know the uh, what do you call it the Empire State Building. Oh really? But that night I couldn't see it because I, every time they were using the you know fly, using the fireworks on the, on right. the statue of, on the Statue of Liberty on the uh, Empire State Building, uh, I would just uh, you know look out the window to see if I could see it and I couldn't see it. So really? Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to see the things going. I'm not a big. Are you a big fan of fireworks? No. Me neither. I find them. No. I find them boring. Yes. Because I could take it. I could take it or leave it. I mean, I, I like the finale at the end usually. Yeah. But but would I go out of my way to watch fireworks? Right. No. 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 I'm no. the same way. I don't. Uh, I just find them boring because really, most fireworks are the same every time. They have gone into some newer technology where they swirl a little bit right. and they do things right. like I, that. Right, I noticed that. Uh, and for a while they were doing things like heart shapes. Yeah. And oh, really? Things like that, yeah, but they don't anymore. Uh, but I just find it, you know, all the same. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Go, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That's exactly right. That's your script. Ooh, ah, Something, ooh, ah. Something's blowing up. Okay, right. and your point is, isn't that right. beautiful? Not really. I consider a good sunset great fireworks. Right. You know? Well, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way to go watch fireworks. Right. Marjorie. You know, if I if I could see them out my back yeah. door, I would watch them. Marjorie. Otherwise, them. Yeah. no. Marjorie loves them. She, oh, really? she oohs and ahs all the time, and she goes, oh, I love fireworks. Oh, let's make sure we watch the fireworks display on the 4th. And I thought, oh, God. 
Right. You know. Right. But she, if you watch it one year, this is what a, what a liar she is, okay? She's sitting there with her camera, taking pictures of the TV screen, and then sending them out saying, we're watching the fireworks. Well, uh, and you it, are. And you couldn't tell it was a TV screen. It looked yeah. like a picture of the fireworks. She's not lying. You were watching the fireworks. Yes, I guess. But we weren't. It wasn't like she was taking them while she was there. Okay. And it was implied. It was implied. She is a fucking liar. Okay? <laughs> and I told her to her face. I said, how can you do that, dear friends? How can you, you know. She, right. She loves, uh, she loves cheating. So anyway, anything else? Uh, health is good. Health is good. Got a haircut. Got a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. I got tired of you know pulling hair out of the drain. Yeah. 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 It, it, it was time. I, I was starting to look homeless, especially <laughs> with the missing tooth. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You dress for a felony. Anyway. Right. <laughs> hey, it's good talking to you again, my friend. Do it. Do, Absolutely. Do it next week. I hope. I would. Yes. Be, I would be bereft if I couldn't do it next week. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, there he is, the lovely and attractive Stephen Kravitz. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, how are you, everybody? Oh, let me turn on the lights. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, i got a problem here. I, I don't know what did I do that was wrong. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I did something that was wrong with the uh, with the uh, uh, thing here. What is, what is this? Let me see here. Let me see here. Live. And I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my. Wow. Uh, did I not do this last night? Hold on a second, folks. I got to do something here. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I am amazed at uh, the fact that I'm so screwed up that you guys are not getting a show. Okay, what is this? This is seventh. This is the seventh, and it's supposedly said it's streamed for twenty-one seconds. I see what the problem is. I didn't start streaming. Hold on a second while I, you know, I, I just give up. I really give up on all of this. Go live, and I want to go now. Schedule stream, reuse settings. If you want to see the interview, folks, uh, that we had on the beginning of the show, uh, but, 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 but this is Wednesday, July 7th, right? And uh, 11.05, okay. Uh, PM. Uh, let's uh, let's go with that. Enable monetization. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Create. Okay. Schedule stream. Okay. Uh, and um, I will start streaming. Uh, apparently, it stopped streaming at some point, and I don't know what point it stopped streaming. But we'll get it going again here. And uh, hopefully it will work. Uh, let me see here. Let me go here. Um, oh God! Let me see. This screw, screw you. Yeah. Okay. We're live now. It says. Oh man. Oh man. I am just screwing up so badly that it's uh, it's a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. And. Um, if you may notice, I, I really have a lousy green screen back here. It's not working right. Uh, and yet it will work okay when I'm doing, I don't know, nothing's going right tonight. And I don't know if I want to continue with this tonight. Um, we screwed everything up. Everything up. Um, what I could do tomorrow night is rerun the, uh, oh, the thing. I'm not going to run a show tonight. I think I, this is just getting to be too much for me, and I don't know what the problem is. But if you may notice, for instance, well, it's looking better now. It's looking more like a decent green screen. Does that look like a decent green screen to you? 
people who are in the chat room, uh, tell me if it looks like a decent. You see, now how occasionally it just goes bad. I have no idea what the problem is here. Anyway, uh, let me see here. See, if I were to take this down, see, that all looks fine. It's just that that doesn't seem to work right. Oh well. Anyway, see, I mean, you notice how it's uh, it's not. Uh, oh boy, I I give up on this. I am so tired of all of this. Everything screws up on me. Nothing works, uh, and I'm just tired of it not working. You know. Uh, now it looks okay. And once I brought it back up again, yeah, it looks fine. There's no problem with the green screen. It's running just fine. Uh, and I'm, I don't know. Who knows what the problem is? Um, maybe I need to maybe bring this in more? No, could be. Could be. Hold on a second, folks. You're going to watch me doing stuff here to try and make things better. Maybe if I just bring this forward more, and this forward more, maybe it'll work better. I don't know. Is it better now? I guess it is. It looks fine. It doesn't look bad. Huh? No, it looks fine. Looks good. Okay. You know, I, I, I this is what I'm getting tired of. Today I had a problem where I was uh, doing the um, I, I was doing an interview with uh, Steve Kravitz. It was out of sync, by the way. I noticed it was out of sync, and I can't figure out why it was out of sync. Okay, that's another problem we're having tonight. Uh, but I, I something happened, and my my cameras all went bad on me here, and I couldn't figure out why. And now I'm checking it out. Look, look, when I lean back, I'm fine. When I go forward, well, I don't know. I give up. I really give up. I'm trying to see. Mm. Okay. There aren't that many people waiting in the, in, the, in the waiting room anyway. So I doubt that we really need to even do this. Uh, but let me... Just put a bunch of people on here. It's just two people, actually, and I can't uh, I can't figure out why. Well, now the picture looks fine, but then it look, goes bad. Huh? It doesn't. Uh, I've got. To, I'm gonna have to figure this out tomorrow. I don't. I don't know if I really want to talk, but let me just uh, let me admit these people, and we can. Uh, I just uh, have them all here. Uh, well, you're here. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, there we go. There's the, th the three of us. I don't know if I'm going to continue this tonight. It's, I just got too many technical problems, you know. Like, and I can't. And I can't hear uh, Al. Alan. Alan's muted. Sorry, I'm muted. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, you okay? and, and nobody's calling tonight. So, I mean, uh, Brian's waiting. Uh, well, yeah, uh, John Larkin's waiting. Everybody's sending me uh, messages. I just got too many you for 20 seconds. And then all of a sudden the screen went blank. What? You were on for 20 seconds at 930. And then the screen went blank. Yeah, because it stopped streaming without me knowing it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, everybody you know, kept you know, trying to find the stream, and we couldn't find it. There was nothing on YouTube. Yeah, well, you know, um, get used to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, you know, it just finally uh, is it's kind of driving me crazy. Phil Meyer says, you okay? Yeah, because I I asked him what's going on because he has a direct link to you. No, what happened was I suddenly noticed, okay, that I didn't have any uh, uh, a video going out when I checked over here and I looked and it stopped streaming. Apparently, I may have. Sometimes you can hit a bar or something like that and it it turns it off, you know. And so something went wrong. So, 
I don't know. You know, it's <laughs> one thing after another. This is just one big cluster fuck. I think I'll rerun the uh, the Kravitz interview tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Tomorrow's Thursday. 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 Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, I could do it Thursday. Oh, no, I can't do it Thursday because we got Robert Natale is going to be joining me tomorrow night. Oh. Uh, we're going to do him like we do Phil. Uh, oh, that's probably good. Well, well, save Stephen for next week then. Hate to miss him. Huh? Kravitz? Hate to miss Stephen Kravitz. Well, I could do Kravitz maybe on Friday and then run Bubbles next week and then tell Bubbles next week I'm only going to do one. Okay. It's it's all. I don't know. I just can't. I can't keep up with this anymore. You know. It's just getting to be too much of a of a of a of a real hassle for me, and I was very I was happy because I got a whole new background back here. If you may notice, see all the traffic going on down yeah. below here. Hey, we got a little traffic on there. Yeah, and uh, if you if you every now and then if you look they zip back because it's a loop, but uh, anyway it looks it looks pretty good. Well, why don't you guys talk amongst yourselves? You know, I want to I want to thank everybody. Uh, I got a lot of uh, messages on YouTube last night for um, for um, uh, what do you call it? For what do you uh, uh, hold on a second? Wishing uh, Trucker Steve the best. Uh, it was very nice of you. All all wishing that he's going to be okay. You know, and caring about the whole thing. And you know, it's good. It's cool. So, uh, and I hope if he's listening, he's okay. We haven't heard from him tonight, but uh, you know, I'm I'm sure he is kind of um, really up to his neck in this whole thing, and having to deal with it and the fear, you know, of what lies ahead. But you know, you get a new kidney, and you you know, back to normal. You, you, you're good to go. You know, uh, I had the only kidney problem I ever had was bad kidney stone. But, you know, that scared me. And that wasn't much, but it scared me a lot. So, you know. But anyway, so how uh, how are you all tonight? Good. Let me okay. see here. Do I have anybody watching? 16 people are watching. Boy, you don't, you don't get this thing on on time. Something happened. I noticed that only 20, I only had a show on for, let me see here, uh, 21 seconds. Okay. Um, so um, let me, and let me delete the show here that just ran for 21 seconds. I, but, I tuned in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, I didn't even <laughs> notice it. You know, I know, I can tell. It, it's not like, it's not like I have a big red light that goes like this when I'm on the air, oh. you know. And, and so if something happens and I'm not on the air, uh, it causes a problem uh, because I don't notice it. Um, and I was doing a lot of stuff tonight with my keyboard, and I may have struck something on my keyboard that made the thing turn off, okay? So I don't know. I don't know what the, what the problem but anyway, here we are. And I, I didn't touch anything. I know you didn't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know actually, Charlie and I noticed it early on. Charlie told me about the 21 second video earlier. I sent a message to John because I saw. Yeah, he but was you on didn't Facebook. send a me you didn't send a yeah. message to me. Huh? You didn't send a message to I me. Did. I certainly did. Did you really? Let me see here. I didn't. I didn't send it in text, but I sent it in in uh, messenger. Uh, it says, "Alex, are you okay? I see no ramble. Charlie and told me that you were on." Yeah, but I didn't get anything from you. I didn't get anything. Uh, uh, I didn't get anything. Uh, well, we can't text you because we don't have your phone number. No, but you could. You could on Facebook. You could message me. I'm going to put that on. Did. Huh? No, I didn't get any messages from you guys. I, I sent it. To, it Well, it doesn't show that you see it. It shows you're on Facebook Messenger. I sent you that message. It says you're active right now. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, are you okay from from uh, from you, Alan? And that was at 11:06. What uh, tonight? I guess I yeah, didn't a few get, minutes I, ago. I didn't it's, get it's, it. Yeah. Right. See so no ramble, we, and Charlie told me that you went blank for about 20 seconds earlier. Yeah, I have no idea what that was about. Okay, yeah. at least you got my message. I, I guess if you didn't respond to that, um, I could call you or send you a text, a regular text. Um, I, I was concerned that something happened. I, I mean, something bad, you know. And so, uh, well, I, you know, what something bad is happening is my brain is just going. It's and it's hot too. Welcome it, to your sixties. You know, I mean, no sixties. I mean, it, I have it, the same brain farts that you have. No, but I, 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 this is starting. Yeah. This is starting to worry me. You know, I get like that myself. This I write is, notes more now. I this know. is really starting. Oh, I to write worry notes me. all the time. And then I was having trouble with my green screen, and I was having to fix that, and I was doing some stuff with that, and it could have been that whatever I was doing with that turned the other thing off. You know, I I don't know. But I mean, I mean today I supposed to go get an EKG from a doctor and I ended up at the post office instead. <laughs> Why were they giving EKG? And when I went to the post office I thought I don't need anything here. What am I doing? Where am I supposed to go? And I looked at my notes. Oh, doctor, annual EKG. Okay. Oh boy. So uh it's not just you. No, it's me. I mean I just you know I'm I'm getting I don't know. I think you there a lot of times, most of the time you have a very sharp mind. Yeah, sharp mind. But lately, yeah. it's been fucking up too much. That's the problem. Yeah. And then I got. Let me show people my camera. Here's my camera. If you lose a leg. Here's then my that camera. Would well, everything looks fine now. Everything. Everybody looks, looks good. Everything's looking. Uh, uh, I, I I worry about. The Even picture. Tony combed his hair. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Tony Tony's combed his hair. My watch. Well, I, I want to just wait and see the picture uh -huh. online. Uh, because this is, see, the green screen, I guess, is working fine now. It is. It looks great. No, no, no. That's the one that you're seeing on Zoom. I'm talking about the one that's online. But it seems like, yeah, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty good online. So, anyway, we'll go back to you guys here. So, I just wanted to make sure that it looked okay. It does. So, you know. Okay, like GabNet is live right now. And, yeah. It looks good to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, on on the you, YouTube. You know, I'm I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing too much with this show. I got the green screen. I got the game. Oh. The game. I you know the thing I love about the Monday, you, show, like the Monday show. The Monday show is I just go on and say, hey, I think we're on, and that's it. You know, uh, and and this is getting to be just just you know, look around you. Nobody's got a green screen. You don't need one. We all got messy rooms that we're in. Yeah. Uh, and just, you know, be yourself, relax, you know? Yeah, well. Anyway. I went back uh, last night after the show, because the, uh, the intersection wasn't on, I went back and looked and found from December 2013 a thing that you did, a show where you sat like Johnny Carson at a desk and you had somebody else who were asking questions and there was a TV monitor behind you with a fireplace yeah. burning. Yeah. yeah. I, I never saw those. I assume that that was before. Oh, yeah, Gabnet. there are a whole bunch of them I put up online. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. If, you go to, if you go to Gabnet uh, on Roku, uh, there are quite a few of those on there. I don't have Roku. <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a full production we were doing there. And there were only two of us doing it. It looked what great. What did you do with the guy that you would ask questions? Or, the guy you know? I was asking questions to was Albert. Yeah. He, he was on cue. Rather, you guys timed it that way or he was well, No, we worked with, with each other for nine years. Oh, okay. I don't know. He was great. You know. Uh, for, we worked. He was my producer for nine years. Uh, he, was, he was quick. Oh, he's very quick. Well, I mean, we're both quick with each other because... We knew we we knew what the next guy was the other guy was going to say, right? You know, it was like a psychic connection. I thought that was a good thing. I'd never seen that before. So, hmm. okay, in, case, well. in case you people are watching the uh, the uh, uh, the on the air version of this uh, after the fact, uh, the reason we started late is I fucked up. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll yeah, do join the club. 
Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just put up the Kravitz interview separately so that people can. Why don't you but, just be well, no, they'll be able to no, wait a minute. That they'll, had they'll be diarrhea and you had to run to the bathroom. Wait a minute, they'll be able to see it. They'll be able to see it if they if you just go to the uh, when I put it up. When you go to the version that I have where I I've just put up the actual show, uh, it, it should be there. You know, so uh, the whole interview with Kravitz is there and everything. We have 23 now that are watching, according to my... 27. There we go. What are you trying there to do, shortchange me? No, <laughs> no. Well, you said it was 16 earlier, so... Yeah, yeah. How hot is it where you are, Tony? You know, it, I'm by my mother's apartment, so I have the air on a little bit. It's hot, Alex. I went for a walk today, like five miles. Oh, are you out of your mind? You're I know. Really... I w yeah, I did. I actually, I had... the. Uh, I had the app on my phone. I did about 600 calories. I went all the way. You know what it is? I don't want to bring my mom up, but I went to the stone place, and they told me not until the end of August for her name. So then I kind of just got some, some water, and I went back home, and I went yeah. to, like, a veggie store on the way back here's home. My, here's my Five suggestion. Is there, a, is, there a, is there already a stone there? Yeah, there is. Yeah. And I was, I don't, and well, they I used would, to, You remember those Dymo label makers? Yeah, you're right, Alex. Just get one of those, print out your mother's name, and stick it on there for the time being. <laughs> but you know what's amazing, Alex? You know, what, you know what I could do to save money, I thought? Because it'd be Nancy Magno. I was thinking this. How about if I just put Leo Magno and the wife? <laughs> I can save a few Well, letters. I told you about my mother. I haven't put up a tombstone for my mother yet. I can't believe You really didn't, man. I thought you were joking. Well, I'm not in California to begin with, okay? You really never did that? I just haven't gotten around to it. That's, and I, mean, I talked to somebody else who calls this show. I can't remember who said to me they didn't do one for their mother either. They never got around to it. But Alex, the cemetery is so backed up because of COVID. This was like we went to January. No, end of January. Now they're saying maybe the end of August. <laughs> really? That's how many? Yeah, it's it. You know, I was walking out of the cemetery. Me and my sister the other day, we were going out the back way towards the vegetable store, and we were looking at the tombstones. So many 2021s. It's they're always putting <clears> them in there. It's it's. I mean, I'm not saying it's all COVID, yeah. but it's got to be a lot. Well, what I, be. what I was going to do is, I my my mother is buried right next to my father. They didn't make any room for me, by the way. Oh, there's not. There's, there's one more person in mind. There's no more room. If so I you got to get your own flat out. You know, if I want to be buried there, they're going to have to slide me in between them, you know. <laughs> I'm already sure there's one more, Alex. Guess that's me coming. But anyway, anyway, I yeah. thought I would just take down the stone. Now, take down the, down the stone, my father's headstone, and get a whole big headstone that would cover both graves. That's not a bad idea. And say, here lies Alex Schwarzman and Ruth Schwarzman. Right with the dates on it, you know. Okay. And yeah. then, in big letters, parents of Alex Bennett. You wouldn't do that, would you? You, I mean, I know you have an ego, but would you really do that? Oh no, the ego your, comes when he says, "I used to be your a big father." Shot. You would never do that to your dad. I couldn't do that to my father. What? I. You wouldn't do that. Well, so my, you know what? I don't know. You know what? You have an ego, Alex. You know. <laughs> Here, here's I'm one of joking. those Dynamo things that he was talking yeah. about. The Dynamo let label me, makers? Yeah. yeah, let yeah. Me, In my, like, I, I, the key. Yeah. Right. You know, where you, you click why, it. Why would you have a... Who well, has a Dynamo label maker? Wait a minute. Record. Hold on a second. Who has a Dymo label maker in here? I used to have one in plastic. <laughs> I, I got one. one. Let me know. Let me know what name comic. you want, Tony, and I'll mail it to you. Yeah, that's the one I used to have. I used to do it in my comic boxes. Yeah, it had different colors. Yes, right? like I mean, red, you know the problem with the Dymo label. The problem with the Dymo labels. Yeah. Where would he go? Brand. He suddenly leaves me. I'm talking <laughs> to him, and he just walks off. <laughs> it's like his mother is still there. Anyway, I have the trouble with the Dymo Three. label He's maker. Back. The trouble with the Dymo label maker, yeah. okay, is that whenever I make the labels, I would make them and I put them on something, and eventually they'd peel off. Yeah, they yeah, the, never the stuck. That stuff, yeah. that glue they put there, wasn't yeah. like really great glue. I guess they thought maybe That's people might good. have buyer's remorse or something, want to pull the thing off or whatever. But I found they never, you know, they were they were just peeling off and not not working right. So it's hot. anyway, so you're hot. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I did a good walk. I was, was going to go. I was, you know, I would like to walk, but I, I'm not going out out in this weather. It was brutal. You know, I'm waiting. Back. I mean, I was okay. I'm in good shape, so it was all right. I drank a lot of water. Coming yeah, back. I'm waiting till Friday. It's gonna settle. I'm waiting till Friday, and then I'm gonna go do it. I think I lost about three, two, three pounds just on that walk back and huh? forth. That's hundred really calories. Like really. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Here we go. Here's the Dymo label maker tape. <laughs> oh, it's like a mustache. <laughs> Can you put my mom's no, name? Yeah, it's not going to stick. Just send me it, it offline. <clears throat> send me your mother's name and your address, and I'll print one out and mail it it's to you. It's not meant to stick the flag. God bless you. It By the way, I talked to I great. talked to Jack last night, uh, and he was his, his problem was he, he he had problems with internet connection or something. Mm. Did he remember Everybody in on? the house had an internet connection but him. Really? If, if I was there, I probably could have fixed it for him, but... In a minute. Yeah. In a minute. Turn it off and reset it. Well, nah, you know, that and there's some, maybe he clicked a button and it uh, disengaged the, the, you know. And I said, are you using... turn the garbage disposal on. I said, are you using Wi-Fi? I said, are you using Wi-Fi? I think he said yes. And I said, hardwire the motherfucker. You know, I, I have everything here hardwired. I don't yeah. use Wi-Fi because you use Wi-Fi and you're destined to fail. That's why you never yeah. crash. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Well, today I was having camera problems here. Okay. I got to tell you, it was brutal. Brutal. But anyway. Um, you know more than most people on the show about technology. And uh, you're pretty sharp when it comes to I know to more than I want to know. Okay? Uh, and, and, but... It, I, it, it seems lately I've lost the ability to do like, okay, I do A, then I do B, then I do C. And um, if anything interrupts that, like for instance, when I'm signing off here, I immediately go through a process of posting shows and doing things like that. Mm -hmm. If I call Jack's show and I don't do it immediately, I lose all sense of this goes after this goes after this goes after that i don't have that flexibility anymore you're, you're giving me a nod yes uh um uh, jeff this is thursday and friday's because. notes get my hair cut tomorrow yeah really mm -hmm. you, 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 because I, I have i'm 20 years time. 20 years younger than you and i still get lost i don't see also i spent all the day i spent all the day today going around changing my passwords on especially important really? things. Even though I had already wow. changed them on certain things. Like I changed them at Bank of America a while back. But uh, I, I decided that it was too much like the old one that was compromised. So I wanted to just change it completely. So I go online to Bank of America and it says change password. So I put in the old password and I put in the new password and the repeat of the new password and they go, boom, it's done. I sign out, I try to sign in. Doesn't work. Oh, shit. Doesn't work. So hey. now what I do is I make the big mistake. I call Bank of America. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now here's the terrible thing about calling Bank of America. You call Bank minutes. of America. Your your call is important to us. Well, if it was important to me to you, you'd have a live human being answering the phone. Okay. But, uh, we care about you, and we have a live human being here. No. Way. Then somebody gets on the line from Bangladesh. No, no. Oh no, no, no. Let me finish. After no, an hour. No, no, that was the that was the nice part. But hold on a second. Hold on a second. So then you get this whole bunch of. I say, uh, they say, if you want this push one. If you want this, push two. And I just go into the phone. Uh, me. Let me speak to a representative. <laughs> okay, you can speak to a representative. By the way, you know most of your answers can be gotten by going to our <laughs> website and checking it there. And they give you this whole speech about what you should be doing while you're waiting for them to connect you to the representative. And when they finally connect you to the representative, they say you're wait may be long <laughs> if you would like us if you'd money. like us to call you back i hate you I'm put in the number this. okay so you go okay uh, i i will uh, say call me back uh yes your number is six <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. four <laughs> six I gotta run nine 
four, two, one. I won't give the rest of it. <laughs> and and they, is that correct? Yes. We will call you back in 15 minutes. And it's taking forever for them to just tell me. Like, yeah. I could have gotten to the representative already. So then I hang up. And, and the pleasant part started because about 15 minutes later, the phone rings. It's, it's, it's uh, Bank of America. Same thing, though. We are returning your call. Please stay on the line, and a representative will be with you shortly. Stay on line because your call is very, very important to us. So finally, a woman comes on the line, and guess what I get? A woman who says to me, Hi, my name is Annette. I'm in Albuquerque. I guess Bank of America wants you to know that they don't have any of those people over in Bangladesh handling your money. And she was very good. She got me through the whole thing. But she said, ah, sometimes it screws up and, you know, whatever. But here, we got you taken care of and you're good to go. And uh, she solved it. But, I mean, getting to that point, was driving me fucking nuts. And, well, you know, I said to her, I said, can't they do a better way of handling this? Can't they just answer and say, uh, what's your problem? You, you, you need to want to speak to a representative? Push one. That should be the first option, not the last option. And then uh, they go, okay, stand by. The oper uh, uh, representative will be with you shortly. And leave it at that. I I, you know, I love the. I, it, I have Kaiser, and so I can order my prescriptions online or mm -hmm. on the phone. So the other day, I did it on the phone for mm -hmm. some reason. Yeah. And it, it says, okay, is this your number? Say yes or no. So I, I follow what they say, yes or no. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, I know what they want you to say, but shit, that's not what they're asking. <laughs> say yes or no, yes or no. You know, we don't understand. We'll get you to a representative. And they're like, okay. I told the representative, and they said, yeah, I don't think the person that did that understands how the English language works. So it, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I just, you know, I mean, it was it was driving me crazy today. And finally, I, I got it changed. And then I went to a lot of other places and, and changed it. I, I You know, last night at, as I was sleeping, because we I had this problem with... I may have compromised some of my information, although I, all I compromised really was my address, which if you want to look up Bennett Schwarzman on Wikipedia, uh, not Wikipedia, but on uh, Google, it will come up with my phone number, my address, you know, everything about me. Uh, and my email, that's easy to get too, right? So I'm not worried about that. And then the password I gave them for the email was a password that I don't use anymore. So I'm not worried about that. But I still wanted to change it. So last night, I'm trying to go to sleep. I've taken my, my nice pill, and hopefully it'll put me to sleep, and I can't go to sleep. Why? I want, first of all, I'm thinking about all the places I might have a compromise. All right? That's to start off with. Uh, so I have a little compromise going there. And then uh, I uh, start, this was the part that got me. I said, what am I going to change my Passwords. password to? And I'm thinking of all the, I want something I'll remember, you know. Uh, and uh, finally, I changed it to something which I use for my, uh, for my wireless network, just for the name of the various wireless networks. Because I thought that was a good one. Nobody will, and, and every place I've been putting it in, it goes, strong password, you know. <laughs> Good. You know. Can I, can I make a recommendation? I know you probably you probably already have this knowing you. It's called a password manager. No. 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 They work, they here's, work good. here's the problem with the password manager. Okay, I knew it. How much does it cost you? Oh. Oh, the one I have is fifty nine dollars. Just once or a year? A year. A year. Okay. I'll give you one for a $49. Uh, okay. Suppose, <laughs> suppose two things. Suppose, uh, who is Joe? Anybody know Joe? Well, let's see. Uh, you know, it could be, could be somebody who wants to come on naked. We don't know. Uh, hello, Joe. Are you there, Joe? Joe? 
are you there? Joe, are you there? Your microphone isn't on, Joe. And neither is your camera. Joe? Hey, Joe? 86. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> remove. Okay, remove Joe. There we go. Uh, and now later on we find out that was Joe Biden. I'm trying to remove Joe. <laughs> I'm trying to remove Joe and I can't, I can't get rid of him. Hold on a second. Uh, move, put in waiting room. Oh, there we go. And tomorrow it's going to be all over the news. I went to the Alex Bennett show and he told the President of the United States, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so I put so Joe. Talk, go back to the password manager. Oh, oh so anyway, so there are two scenarios. Think about this. One, uh, you don't want to pay it next year. What happens to all your passwords? You're fucked. It's encrypted. I know it's encrypted. Okay. But what happens to your passwords? Do you know what those passwords are? Absolutely. Oh, you That's do know what, what they the make Rolodexes for. Oh, okay. Well, oh. I, I have a, a, a program here that I just okay. write in all my various uh, things, you know. What happens if your computer gets compromised and everybody gets access to that? Oh, that fuck program? it. I don't care. See, yeah, that's the whole thing. You know, but they have these you things like... You might as well like, pick one, two, three, like, four, five, six and put it on all of them. I have this, I have this thing, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, where, where is it? Uh, Dash Lane. Okay? You know, it's 50 bucks a year or something. That's hey, Alex, fine. Don't, but don't every, you just use the Apple one on the Apple uh, you, system? You know, you know, you've got one built into Chrome. Hmm? Yeah. You've got one built into Chrome. Into my Apple, into my iPhone. Yeah. There's the password manager on that. Yeah. Where? I mean, uh, you go into settings, mm -hmm. um, passwords, passwords and settings on the first page. Oh, I yeah. see what you're talking about. I, that's yeah. not that's not enough for what I think he's talking about. But oh, okay. Those are passwords that are uh, uh, used on the phone. No, yeah. they they got all they got all my. Uh, websites that I go to and stuff and everything. Well, wait okay. a minute. Where, where do you go even, here? They even have my uh, bank stuff on there. Well, I don't so see. I'm going to take a guess that your bank uh, is one, two, three, four, five, six. No. No, it's, I'm, I'm six, it, it's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I always get that confused. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. Wait a minute. Now, hold on. Uh, where, where do you say? I don't. Oh, here, face ID and passcode. Is that it? No, no not, that's not it. Okay, you go to settings. Yeah. And uh, it's um, underneath. Uh, uh, it's on the front. It just says passwords. Um, and it's got a little key next to you it. You go. You go right past on my phone. You go right past the wallet and Apple yeah. Pay. Yeah. That yeah, I don't yeah. use, and then passwords is next. And then mail, then contacts, calendar. Oh, I notes. see. Apple and wall pay. Oh, there it is. Passwords. Okay. And then there it just remi yeah. remembers oh, all yeah. my passwords, yeah, so it, I don't have to remember. Yeah, them. it does have it, but that's for all the all the st stuff on your. I guess, and you can look at the passwords too, right? Yeah. yeah. If you want to, you go to I go to like Adobe here. Uh, you're using reusing this password on Amazon.com. Which increases the risk of your account if Amazon is, is a compromised. Oh fuck you! Anyway, all and I'm saying, all, well, all it's I'm saying, on my Mac too. It's on my laptop too. All, all I'm saying is, if you want a cheap one, if you have Chrome, the browser keeps your passwords, and and you can go and see what they are. Yeah, Charlie, you look like you're saying something. Yeah, something. I mean, this is free. Yeah, I've that's got all my passwords here. But what I have is the first letter of the password or number or whatever it is and the last number and asterisks or whatever all in between now good luck trying to figure out what those 15 asterisks represent but that's enough to remind me and i will remember what the, if i ever get to the point where i can't remember what the first and last <laughs> numbers are and what's in between Holy I have no shit. on the computer anyway you're a good candidate for a password manager charlie <laughs> i mean Someday That's you're going to wake up and not remember what an asterisk is. <laughs> That's what I say. Then I shouldn't be on the computer. I should not have access to a computer. I get to that point. Well, I have all my passwords on a Rolodex, but I use a password manager. You do use a password manager. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Good for you. I yeah. just I just find that that's a pain in the ass too because no, you got you got to you got to pay is. them and if you stop paying them your password manager doesn't well, my, work anymore. Yeah, my anymore. password is something yeah. like Yankee Doodle went to town or something like that. And right, I no, got to tell me, you, let me write that down. To Yankee Doodle that, went to town. Yeah, that's not it. But trying to. Oh, well, I know what it is. Here. I know what it is. Your password is riding on a pony. <laughs> you figured it out. Now I got to change my master. You want to know here? I mean, I, master password. I have a password I was using for twenty years. Okay, for twenty years. And we were doing a show with uh, I don't know if you remember uh, 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 Amanda Janelle, uh, right? Yeah. And she one night went on the air and says and don't use some stupid uh, password like and she said my password <laughs> she said because everybody uses that and i went wait how did she know what my and so i i called her up and i said miranda miranda that was her name miranda what the fuck? i mean how did you figure out my password she says you're using that and i said yeah she says it's very common and yeah. I said, why is it common? Well, I can't tell you what the password was because I'm still using it some places. But she said it's very common for a certain reason, that human beings relate to it. So I was completely lost, you know. Uh, yours is probably if you see her, name her after me. <laughs> no, no. I thought you just started using no, that I, on the The new gap one, net. last night I was sleeping late. I was up all night thinking what am I going to use and finally I decided today uh, is going to be Al go fuck yourself yeah <laughs> right on yeah so, oh uh, uh, Al go fuck yourself 47 I added that so that nobody would <laughs> nobody would get it you know no. um, well they wouldn't think it was me yeah. because I'm not 47 uh -huh. <laughs> anyway so I came up with a new one that that and now when I put it in, they it's a, I feel I feel like I got a good grade. It says wrong, <laughs> and it's not. It's pretty simple. It's not you know, but it's not a name that they would easily come up with. See, so so I have a strong password now. A friend of mine. I won't be happy this. till I come up with one that says excellent. A friend of mine uses the grave marker of his parents which is a, in, it's in new york it's a long marker put out by the by the where they're buried and i'm like anybody could figure that out and it's just cool tell me what it is well you know i don't know <laughs> yeah well i mean i just i uh, to begin with you know what i also hate how many here hate two-factor oh yeah yeah the two i like it the two factor thing. I'm sick and like tired. It. Every time yeah. I sign on to Apple, I gotta I gotta put in these six numbers. And they won't and they by the way at Apple, they won't let you have an account without using the two factor uh, I feel safe with that though. I do too. Uh, I do too. I feel a little safe with it. Uh where do I feel safe with it? It's uh, a hassle, but it's it's for some safety. place where I thought I might be compromised also asks for two level, you know, the verification. Yeah, um, and so I was kind of happy with that. Uh, I think it was Apple, actually. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I have all my, you know, I'm, I've been going around all day adding this stuff, so maybe that's how I managed to sign off accidentally, because I was typing I just something in. got a new in. iPhone yesterday. Huh? I just got a new iPhone yesterday because I dropped my other one. Mm -hmm. and it cracked, and I had insurance, yeah. so it was like 99 bucks, and they gave me a brand new one. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had an iPhone 4 and he got an iPhone 12 now? No, it's an 11, because that's what it was. But um, I, I, I went down either. to the Genius Bar or over to the store in Union Square, and, uh, you know, they, this girl helped, helped me set it all up. What's the latest one that's out, the 11? No, oh. the 12. The 12, no, and this 12, is the 11 yeah. I've got here. Yeah, uh, that's what I got, the 11. Yeah. I got the 11 also. I'm not in any great rush to get a new one, are you? No. And I don't care about the six. They're expensive. I don't care about the 5G either. I really, you know. Uh, that's the total bullshit. Well, it's, it's not, not bullshit. It's fast. Video, it's fast, but who needs it? it yeah. But it hasn't it hasn't been built out across the nation. So 
It's gonna if it's not around your neighborhood, it's gonna go back to four G. I need a new uh, I need a new watch though, but I'm not gonna get one because the battery's going a little low on it. You uh, got a choice here. You can take my diver watch, or you can take the old. This is probably more your style. Leather band, <laughs> Hamilton. I'll send it to you tomorrow. What's what's the difference between four G porn and five G porn? Uh, yeah, four G is not as uh, jittery. I don't know. You tell us, John. <laughs> the spermatozoa looks clearer. <laughs> Oop. That's his password. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I really should have one place. I'm going to do sperm something for my password. Sperm, sperm something. <laughs> You know. How about with your bank? Maybe you ought to change it tomorrow. The what? Bank of America. My bank? No, I'm not. Go I'm not going through that one again. Right. You know, too too much work. <laughs> you know. I went over to Fidelity last night because I wanted to change my password over there. That's easy. And that was easy. They were easy peasy. Yep. Yeah. I just changed my password on that on Fidelity, and it is easy. Yeah. I was surprised. But I don't know why it was so difficult over at Bank of America. I mean, they should, you think they have it down by now, you know. But then again, all these guys keep getting hacked and everything. What do you, what you're putting, you're putting your wife on? Get on a tour of the camera? bedroom. <laughs> now, where are you? You're back in, no, you're still in Georgia. Oh, I'm Georgia. still in Georgia. Still in Georgia. Oh. The, the, you sound like you're really happy to be in Georgia. Uh, it's like, I'm like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What can I tell you? Yeah. How about Pam? Is she the same way? She wishes she could get out of No, there. she's seven. Well, she needs to get home, too. Yeah, yeah. But she's she does a super job with uh, my sister. You, you have to wear your MAGA hat around there so you fit in. Yeah. Make America great again or something, whatever the hell it stands for. Make America goofy again. Yeah. Uh, I think it stands for your attorney is now in, in jail or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you hear that uh, I, we don't bring him up that often, but the Donald Trump uh, is um, he's uh, suing. Oh, yeah. Facebook and Twitter and who else? One other. I heard that. Google. It, Google. Google. Google, yeah. Yeah. What a joke. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> the federal government can't get Facebook and, and, and Google and Apple to disclose anything. He's going to get them to allow them back on. Yeah, he, in, 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 that, in that, uh, that press conference he did today, he kept on saying, oh, it, it's, it's, he said it's unconstitutional about 10 times. But <laughs> I don't think he's ever read the Constitution. Yeah, only a government oh, yeah. could do something unconstitutional. Well, yeah, it's not unconstitutional for a business to decide that it has rules and regulations and yeah. that you don't fall within the purview of those rules and regulations. If yeah. they were a federally owned arm of the government, yes, you could say it was unconstitutional. Can somebody please tell me why they just don't arrest that motherfucker for instigating a fucking riot? Tell me that. Explain that to me. Well, I don't know how to answer that one except to say that uh, Otis. I, I think I think there's a reticence to do it because then we seem like a third world country. Who gives a fuck? You know, I mean, He's a third you, world you, well, I mean, you heard what happened down in uh, where was it? Uh, Haiti. Haiti. Haiti? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the president of Haiti got assassinated yeah. Yeah. yesterday. Uh, by people they never you know i don't think they ever take shots at the at former presidents anymore unfortunately yeah they caught those guys too i heard tonight oh by the way happy anniversary to uh, jimmy and rosalind carter rosalind carter mm -hmm. yeah they've been married uh, uh 75 years wow yeah fuck yeah. everybody at that age people are just dying and they've turned into little midgets have you seen them <laughs> Like, it happens. Tiny little people, and one if they live long enough, they're just, you're gonna have to have a magnifying glass to see them. Like My grandmother used to say that when we get older, she said, "I think I'm getting smaller." My arms are getting shorter, she used to say. Yeah. Well, my mother, uh, my mother got shorter. I mean, I think. I think. Do we shrink? Then we might. I don't know. I haven't shrunk really. 
uh, I mean, in, in height. Uh, <laughs> my feet have stayed the same. Huh? My feet have stayed the same. I think I think as you get older, though, I could be wrong. My appetite gets less. Well, let me tell you, Tony, because you, you, you. how old are you now, Tony? I'll be 52. 52? Okay. Well, in September. Yeah. And he's holding off till he's 60 to get married. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, uh, you're going to find that certain things happen and you can't figure out why. Like, look at this, right? I'm losing it too. Look yeah. at that. No, but look at that. And yet, why yeah. does it come yeah. out profusely in my nose and ears? And now? Yeah, that, huh? yeah that's weird. <laughs> oh, by the way, Forbin Colossus, who is on our chat room all the time, wrote me a note yesterday, and it's really a, a good thought. He said, "How?" he says, they want to say www mm -hmm. instead of World Wide Web mm. when actually it takes longer to say www yeah right everything's an acronym in this country there are only three syllables in World Wide Web but www you don't even need to use that anymore anyway no most browsers know yeah, what you I mean, want yeah I mean my uh, uh, gabnet you just type in gabnet.net. Did you uh, find out what the dark web is? Yes. It's up a spider's ass. <laughs> I'm glad I asked. Um, no. Uh, uh, it, uh, I talked to Phil today, and he had a friend who kind of explained it to me. And it's that most websites, most of the web is on a certain protocol. Okay. Uh, which is regulated by a federal uh, by the federal government and a, a group that uh, that uh, uh, parcels these things out. These are rogue webs. They have their oh, they put them up themselves. You know they put in their own equipment. They got uh, the, and it's it's like a side. It's almost like uh, how can I? It just doesn't come into the purview. When I when I get a, a gabnet.net I go through somebody and they give me a, what's called a URL uh, which is www.gabnet.net and then there's address. also an IP address that goes along with that and all those things are given out by I get it from a domain supplier but they get the they have to register it with this other organization who take keeps tabs over all of it this stuff they don't have tabs over Oh, and I, and it is, it. it's another web, and you can access it. I heard that if you go to onion.com, you'll start seeing it. And you can actually download browsers. But yeah, BitTorrent. Huh? It's called BitTorrent. No, BitTorrent isn't that. I, no. I use BitTorrent all the time. That has oh. nothing to do with it. BitTorrent oh, okay. is simply a way of being able to send uh, uh, files from one thing to another usually oh, okay. video files audio files is what they're basically used for oh, okay yeah but like, no this is this is just its own web thing that you have to go through using another browser to get to them because they're not on the normal web and that's the dark web yeah i don't i don't i hope they so the guy that explained it to you hopefully explained it well. But he's well, he's going to. He, I'm going to try to get him to come on with uh, with Phil, on maybe Tuesday, and just he's a explain smart guy. just explain it. But the guy used to be with Homeland Security, yeah, and he's well, kind well. of afraid that he might be revealing too much. Yeah. yeah. Well, he but he has a right to be afraid of that. Yeah. So, uh, but th th that's that's the dark web, folks. You could you could Google dark web and it'll come up. So I don't think he's he's a smart guy. He's not going to disclose anything. Well, I don't think it's as dark and as horrible as you think, but it's uncontrolled, and that's yeah. what the difference is. And so, therefore, okay. a lot of rogue things. That, it's kind of like you know, like it's. I hate to say this. It's, it's, I sound like such an old guy when I'm saying this, but it's kind of like Bitcoin in that uh, Bitcoin is this rogue currency that everybody from ransomware people to gangsters are using and normal people too, like uh, what's his name from Tesla? Um, yeah. 
Elon Musk. Well, Elon Musk. He likes what Deutsch Deutsch coin or something or douche coin or something like that. So you know, um, uh, but I I I don't like the idea of the Bitcoin. I don't think it's. Uh, I think it would be good, and it's certainly a more modern way of of taking care of the money situation. But because it isn't controlled and it isn't over overseen, I think it's got a problem. You know, it's just, uh, there's just too many ways that people, I mean, if, if somebody wants to go onto your computer and throw ransomware in there and want you to pay them $500 to be able to get the key to get rid of the ransomware, how are you going to pay for it? Bitcoin. I don't know, how, how do you collect money back from Bitcoin? That's what I don't understand. The government seemed to be able to do it on this pipeline that get that got. Well, let's let's say uh, I know how to pay off Bitcoin. I know how to pay off in Bitcoin. I get this guy will send me their address, and then you go to the Bitcoin thing, and that's how you take care of it. But how does let's, let's, let's say you're doing ransomware on somebody else, or let's just say you want money from somebody else, and they pay you in Bitcoin. How do you cash in the Bitcoin? That's what I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand. That's but I, you just. You have Bitcoin. You just go to any uh, website or any um, yeah. What exchange. happens? Is it like an ATM? Does a little money come right out of your computer? Some of them do. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah the, if you go to a Bitcoin machine, you can you can get cash out of them. Not a million dollars, but you can still. Yeah, but get say, cash say out I've of got them. a billion dollar million dollars in Bitcoin, and now I want to cash in my million dollars in Bitcoin. Where do I get my money? You can do it. How? Where? You sell it to somebody that wants that wants. Oh, to there we go. <laughs> I think John went to one too many Trump rallies. <laughs> no, it's, went to too many. It's it's easy. I'm telling you, it's easy. If it okay. wasn't easy, there wouldn't be people fucking billion, you know, investing billions of dollars. I will bet you John deals in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, boy. don't you? I wish. Oh, okay. I don't know. The Bitcoin doesn't doesn't. I remember. I'll, I'll tell you a story though. Um, there used to be this um, this computer cafe I used to all go to, and this was about around 2012. And I went in there one time, and they had one of these Bitcoin uh, uh, Bitcoin ATMs. Mm -hmm. And I, I was I didn't know anything about it, so I, I was looking at it, and the guy said, "Yeah, you know, yeah, you just put your uh, ATM card in there, and you can buy Bitcoin. It gives you a little receipt with your code on it." And I was thinking, "Oh, I should do that." Bitcoin at that time was selling for like 200 bucks. And yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> what is Bitcoin selling for now? Well, it's about 30, 40,000 now, but it was as high as 90,000 a couple uh couple months ago. Boy. <clears throat> anyway, hey, there's the thing. Gee, I got through the program. Once we got all the problems taken care of. If you're watching this thing, and you didn't see the uh, the, the uh, uh, interview with uh, uh, the guy I love having on here, uh, uh, Stephen Kravitz. Uh, it will be on the the upload version that I do on the. So who's going to be on the show tomorrow? I sort of caught part of that. Oh, Bob Natale. Robert Natale. Okay. Robert Natale is going to be here tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, you yeah. know, then he doesn't have to be assaulted by Tony. No, don't start, Tony. Don't start, no, Tony. I'm don't start. Uh, do you apologize to him? No, to you. No, I said would you apologize it. to him? It would yes, it mean sorry. a lot to him. What? Yes, I'm sorry. Say it. Say it. it say it. Tony, say it. it was Phil that he say, got wait, Hold on a second. Say I apologize. I apologize. For what you said about Bob Natale. For what I, I okay, said. I'll, I'll tell him that, that tomorrow night because that's Phil. what he wants. It was Tony. Yeah. It was Phil. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, fuck Phil. Anyway... Uh, that's it for tonight, everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, uh, Alan, and thank you, Charlie, and thank you, uh, 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 <laughs> thank you, Tony, thank you, M uh, Mr. Larkin, and thank you, Jeff, uh, and uh, everybody. Uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big mm -hmm. wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizen panel for tonight. Boy, did the beginning of this show fuck up. I mean, we didn't have a show for the first half hour online, and so nobody called because we weren't here, and we didn't get a large amount of people watching, and you know, whatever. Anyway, it's all over. And look, does my picture look good? 
How does it look? Does it look good? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, uh, it was getting to the point where I didn't have Winston registering well in the back. Anyway, hey, Jack is next with the intersection. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you don't have a vaccination, please, please get one. Bye.